Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you guys can see every single time that I upload. I mostly upload on Tuesdays now, so stay tuned. Tuesdays at 8 a.m. if you guys want to check out my videos. So let's get into this console styling video. Hi guys, so I'm going to do my OOTD. It's kind of comfortable today because I'm going to be walking around a lot while I'm styling. So this blazer is from Zara. This tank top is from H&M as well as the shoes. And these jeans are from Abercrombie. So don't forget to follow me on IG. I post a lot of outfit inspiration and also decor inspiration on there. I will leave it on the screen and also in the description down below so you guys can follow me there. All right, so let's get into the styling of the console table. So I like to clear everything down. I think console tables, buffets, and credenzas are great because they kind of do two things. They add extra storage and they add that wow factor, I think, in every room. And I feel like I can play around with a lot of decor on console tables because there's so much space and I love it. I decided to put a mirror above my buffet in my dining room and also a picture light that I got from Amazon. It was only $24.99 and I actually spray painted both of these pieces a brass color and I do have the brass spray paint and I will leave it in the description down below because a lot of you guys asked me for that one and it's a muted kind of color and I absolutely love it. All right, so let's get into look one. I'm gonna style this using a lot of items that I have around my house in different areas because the great part about decorating is that you might have gems that you don't use in storage in your closets or that just need to be repurposed and moved around. And that's what I've been realizing in my apartment. I'm kind of sick of the same setup. So I've been moving items from different areas and I've been loving them a lot more in their new places. So let's get into it. All right, so I like to add my anchor items first and my anchor pieces are usually larger i tend to put the larger pieces on the outside only because not only because it makes more sense but because i actually have a mirror right here so i'm thinking about how that's going to look with the mirror so if you guys have any artwork or paintings you can kind of decorate your console table around that by having the larger items on your console on the outside. So I'm gonna add another vessel and I will leave everything linked. This vessel is from Westside Market and I can't remember, I think this one is from, I can't remember where this one's from, but adding this will add a lot of texture and visual interest on any piece. So I absolutely love that. The next thing that we're gonna actually add are coffee table books. So when I'm styling my credenzas, I think about color scheme. If you guys are using items that you find around your house, they're pretty much going to be in the color scheme that you want. But if you're going out to buy or purchase um, new items for your credenza, try to keep it within four colors, three to four colors that are all different shades of the color that the colors that you choose because I feel like that looks more cohesive and you can always add that pop of color with your greenery or your florals. All right, so I have this other large coffee table book as well and I'm gonna add an anchor to this side. And it's just gonna be this lamp that I actually picked up from Goodwill and I loved how small it was. I, My main purpose of buying it was because I thought it would look great on top of some coffee table books so I can add some height and dimension. So I thought that was great. All right, the next item that I have is this and I actually purchased this from, I think, Target and I love it because it kind of has that worn kind of antique look on it 
and I feel like it plays off of this vessel. And I'm gonna add some beads to, I'm gonna add some beads to this bowl to finish it off because it kind of does feel empty over here. And I have these black beads and they're actually from Pottery Barn, but I think they're discontinued, but I will leave any dupes if I find some down below. Last but not least is adding florals or greenery. I feel like this will complete your space. Add some color if you're very monochromatic in your color scheme. And I picked up these branches from Hobby Lobby. I think they're perfect. They're really great quality. So I'm gonna add them in here. And you just play around with it and what I like to actually do is make sure some of my branches kind of kind of go into the mirror kind of giving it that overgrown effect I kind of don't mind if some of the branches block the mirror so yeah that's my first credenza styled what do you guys think Let's get into console styling number two. We're gonna start with a really large vessel that I'm gonna actually anchor on this side. And I love the color on this. And the detail is what sold me about this. And I feel like this is very similar in color to my wall, but it adds a different textural feel that kind of contrasts the wall color because my walls are kind of a beigey, I would say grayish color. And I will also leave my wall color listed in the description down below because a lot of you guys asked me about that. On the other side, we're gonna actually add some coffee table books as well in the same color family as this vessel. We're gonna play off of all the light colors and do kind of an earthy vibe in this second styling. Then I'm gonna add this beautiful tribal collar that I got from Home Goods. I love the shelves on it. This reminds me a lot of the Restoration Hardware collars that they sell for $300. I don't think I spent $300 on this. I think it was about 60 and as for the star of the show we're gonna add this huge Dolce & Gabbana fashion album coffee table book it is massive it is so amazing I love the color of it it kind of goes in with this neutral earthy vibe that we're going for so I'm gonna add something else on top of it I love this paper mache bowls. I, I love paper mache bowls in general, but I love this one because it kind of looks like it was rolled around in dirt. So it's adding that gritty feeling that makes it really earthy and nice on top of this book. And lastly, we're gonna add some florals because I feel like florals finish off any console table or any area in your home I feel like it ties it in really nicely and adds that pop so I'm gonna add these and I actually got these branches from I think Goodwill believe it or not and I love them and I really feel like this one is very boho contemporary and I really love this one do you guys like this one this is console number two.
Let's get into our third and final look. Let's begin. So for my anchor on this side, I'm just using this lamp that I picked up from Home Goods. And I love the base of this. I think it's so nice and substantial. It adds a great amount of height. And I love that it plays off of the mirror on here and I think adding in any kind of metals to a credenza is a great way to kind of add that bling factor that glam factor that you're looking for but still muted down and it'll still go in with a lot of my earthy tones and you know my neutrals right next to it I'm gonna add this bowl or this concrete bowl that I got or um planter that I got from Home Goods, and I just added some moss that I got from Home Goods as well. It's actually fake moss, but I love the fact that it looks real. And as for this side, we're actually going to add this vessel as an anchor, and we're going to push it a little bit to the background. And this is going to be our second vignette. We have one vignette over here, and I want to add another one because I think adding vignettes adds different moments and different visual interests in one area so we're gonna add some greenery and if you guys have been following me for a while you know I love live branches and I tend to cut off a lot of leaves at the base just so I can fit it inside and I've been doing this on my island a lot recently, so I wanted to bring it up over here. And I actually have this Dollar Tree vase that I put inside of the vessel first. So let's do that. Because you need water to keep them alive, obviously. So I'm just gonna put them in here. And we're gonna play around with them to give the shape that we want. So yeah, I love how live branches look in my home. I like the color that it adds and I love that it goes all the way to the top of the ceiling. I feel like that's very interesting and it kind of adds that wow factor to this area. So I love that. Next to that, we're gonna add some coffee table books. I have this White Company and Giorgio Armani book. And because I like to play around with color recently, <laughs> this is very recent, so I'm gonna try to play around with color. I decided to buy this painting from Home Goods. It actually came in a set of two, so I could play around with this anywhere in my home. So I'm gonna add this to the vignette and I'm gonna put it behind. So this will add some interest to my vignettes and also some color that is much needed in my space. It has some blues and yellows and blacks and I feel like it looks perfect. But I still feel like this needs something right here. So I'm gonna add a vessel. So I have this beautiful aged kind of dirty looking vessel that I got from Etsy and it's the perfect size for this area right here and I think this is complete. All right, creators, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to style a console table. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on your notifications. And let me know in the comments down below, 
which console was your favorite one two or three i love three so much i feel like it's the vignette that does it for me over here which one is your favorite and i will see you guys next time bye